Well, Thursday and Friday all led to this championship Saturday for the College Bassmaster Anglers on Lake Bemidji. Jacob Fouts and Jake Lee of Bryan College inserted themselves at the top of the leaderboard each day. Could someone finally dethrone them on day three at Paul Bunyan Park or should they get out the brooms with a clean sweep? Well, they picked up right where they left off, 15 pounds and six ounces of five bass netted for the final way, and that kept them in front of Floyd and McNeil of Bethel College, just over three pounds. A three-day grand total for the winners, 49 pounds and 15 ounces, and they're crowned as a new college national champions. It feels amazing. This is what we've been looking forward to all year long. To be able to come here and perform, it feels absolutely amazing. It was a whole lot harder today, and uh, it took us until, like, 130 to catch a limit and uh, that's a whole lot later than we'd have liked it to be but it's all right. Well just a little down the leaderboard BSU's own Thor and Mitch Swanson finished the tournament ninth overall after placing in the top five each of the first two days. The dynamic duo pulled in 29 pounds and 9 ounces total, 5 pounds and 14 ounces on Saturday to complete their run in their home city. This caliber of, of anglers, these kids are really good, so anytime you can get inside the top 10 at a national championship, you really, you really can't complain at all. Um, obviously we're hoping it's going to go a little bit better, but it's still a good week. And be able to drive 500 feet from our house to the ramp and then coming here, fishing familiar water, fishing familiar techniques, and then seeing everybody else here. I was not expecting this many people to show up to a, a tournament, especially a bass tournament in uh, northern Minnesota. So congrats to all those teams. Here's a look at the top five. Bethel puts three in the top five. Then, of course, the Swanson brothers come in ninth at 33 pounds and five ounces total. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.